Oh, hi, this is Frank Tapon, and there's a, there's a hidden book over here. Let's check it out. <gasps> it's the Hidden Europe. My God, it's been sitting here the whole time, and I never even noticed. This is my brand new book. I've got, uh, got this just today, and so I want to share it with you right now. All right, let's do a quick overview of the Hidden Europe. As you open it up right from the beginning, you see a nice, beautiful color map of the Hidden Europe and all the countries that the book covers. So you can see where Moldova is. You can see where Macedonia or Albania is these hidden countries that nobody ever talks about. Ta table of contents, you can see that there's 25 countries, 25 chapters. This is kind of the, the book talks about right at the beginning, we go to the introduction. And one of the things you'll notice right from the get-go is that there's lots of headings. Pursuing the Nobel Prize in McDonald's, you know, Estonians fight over statue, the Bronze Knight. So if even though the book is 750 pages long, you have a chance to kind of skip around. And at the end of every chapter, for example here, what can Estonia teach us? And so it shows you a bit of summary about the key takeaways. Most of the book, what it talks about is the history, the people, the culture, what are the, what's the food that they eat, the habits that they have, what were some of my personal experiences there. And the whole step of the way, you have these nice headers that kind of let you pick and choose what you want to focus on and what countries you want to focus on. And uh, we can go, for example, to Hungary, and you'll see also in Hungary there's a big issue about the Treaty of Trianon. And uh, it's a treaty that most people haven't even heard about. We'll have a nice little map that shares you uh, the, the details about that. Go into the middle of the book, right around the Serbia chapter, you get these nice color photos. Because I talk a lot about the people, and so I wanted to show who are these people I'm mentioning in the book. And so here are some photos, 60 photos in all, that really give you a sense of the people, how they look at, you know, how do people from Kosovo even look like? How do people from Romania or Moldova actually look like? And so this is a chance for people to kind of see some random people that I met along the way, hosts, friends, etc. And uh, it's a good way to get a general sense of the country. Also, there's going to be a ribbon uh, in the book that allow you to bookmark any section. And uh, so that will be, in this copy we don't have the ribbon, but uh, in the final copy there will be a ribbon, ribbon bookmark, which makes a nice gift. And at the last chapter, one of the second longest chapter of the whole book is the Russia chapter. And you can see there kind of what Russia could teach us. And then you have the conclusion about uh, the, of the whole book. And at the end, at the last end leaf, once again, the map shows up again. So that's it. The tour of the Hidden Europe. Get it now.